Hello again. Short I. We're coming to the end. Don't worry. We are getting down to the smallest word families. Alors, on commence à parler des familles de mots qui sont plutôt petits. So, X and id are very small word families, so we've put them together. But we before we talk about X and id, Let's review the word families we've learned so far. Alors, avant de commencer les nouvelles familles de mots, on va réviser les mots qu'on a appris jusqu'à maintenant. Fin. Hippo. Win. Pit. Lit. Rip, pin, bin, bit, spin, big, twig, pit. Hip, dip, chin, zip, wig, lip, pig, Tin Ship Mitt Fig Sit Drip Hit, dig, okay. Our first word family today is X. La première famille de mots pour aujourd'hui c'est X. Pas X, X, X. Six. Fix. Alors, réparer. Fix. Mix. Mélanger. Mix. Now, our second word family today, notre deuxième famille de mots pour aujourd'hui, c'est id. Id. Lid. C'est la couvercle. Lid. Kid. This is a kid. Kid. Gamin, gosse. So the kid plays at the playground. Kid. Did. As in, I did it. The past tense of to do. Fe. Did. <laughs> this is hid. 
hid ou c'est caché. They all hid. Okay, I found you an interesting hand washing video. So in this video, these are your hands and the black paint is soap. La peinture, c'est le savon. So this shows you where the soap goes when you wash our hands. So that shows you, ça montre où le savon passe quand on se lave les mains. So these are the ways that we wash our hands and it shows you why. So we get soap everywhere. Alors ça montre pourquoi on fait toutes ces actions pour bien distribuer le savon. So I must not fear. <laughs> All right, so you look at the end of the fingers are not soaped up. So we need to do this action. Now if you look, the thumbs are not soaped up. So you need to do uh, when the fear goes through me. Good. And now you have the soap everywhere. You get the tips of your fingers. Hmm. And your wrists. There you go. So that is why we do all the actions for washing our hands. Ça c'est pourquoi il faut faire toutes les actions quand on se lave les mains. Ok les cinquièmes, n'oublie pas de corriger le travail d'hier et de faire le quiz Google pour aujourd'hui et aussi la fiche de travail. Bye bye! Hello again, quatrième et troisième. We have some verbs to do aujourd'hui, some verbs today. So simple verb tense in the past. Yesterday she did her homework. And then for present, Today she does her homework and in the future, tomorrow she will do her homework. This is all simple. Now continuous, remember continuous uses the present participle with ing. So yesterday she was doing. The was is what indicates the past. It's the to be verb in the past. Now we change that to be verb to the present. Today she is doing her homework. Future tomorrow she will be doing her homework. So that to be verb was was, is, and then will be for she. Now the perfect verb tense needs the auxiliary to have. So yesterday she had done her homework before she went to school. Done is the past participle. So you need a to be verb with the past participle. And remember to do is irregular. And so this is an irregular verb. Today she has done her homework already. To be, to have is in the present here. And tomorrow she will have done her homework before she goes to school. So will have is the to have auxiliary. Now we put perfect and continuous together and we get this. So yesterday she had been doing her homework for an hour when I arrived. So had is the perfect part of this. That's the to have verb in the past. And then been is the unique addition of the perfect continuous put together. And doing is the present participle which indicates the continuous. Present. Today she has been doing her homework all on her own. And future. Tomorrow she will have been doing her homework for six days straight. So will have is the perfect to have auxiliary. Been is the combination and doing is continuous. 
Okay, Catherine, a troisième. Don't forget to correct your work, to do the Google quiz, and to do the worksheet for aujourd'hui. Good job today. Bye-bye.